Hey guys, in this, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can design a primers to amplify the full coding sequence of a specific triogen given. So this is a triogen, and if it's a full coding sequence of a triogen, it means it starts from ATG, which is a start codon, to TGA, which is a stop codon, okay? So it, it is important that a primer must be including at least these two important sequences. So I made a video before, but it just ended due to the mistake, so I'm going to follow under my previous video. So... It says design primers, so the primers have to be five n to three n. Okay, so here I was gonna start from here A G A G A C G C G C sorry C G A okay C G A A A G A A G. It's very important to read the primers specifically. A A G. A A G C G C G yeah why not see here you don't necessarily have to include all the three nucleotides as long as you know if you want to go with 17 nucleotide it is fine and because it's very important to this part of the question base you want to fork out the TM because you want to make sure that you have an even number of G's and G series and ATs because the method we're going to use to calculate the TM, for example, is 4 plus 2 method. That is, you're going to times the 4 by a whole number of nucleotides you are given of CG, and you're going to times 2 by a whole um, nucleotides of AT. So it is important, so you know what you're doing. So, for example, if we have picking 17 nucleotides in the forward primer, we have to pick up 17 nucleotides in the reverse primer too. So let's find a reverse primer. Uh, again, so it's important to be reading it to 5N to 3N. It is very, very important. You can't just go, for example, if it would be ATC, write it there. You can't do it. You have to make it, because here is to re read from here is 3 to N, 3 to 5, isn't it? But we have to make it to 5 to 3. So we have to do something known as reverse complementary technique. So this reverse complementary technique, what it would give us, it would convert this from 3, 5 to 5 prime, it would convert us to 5 prime to 3 prime. So let's see how it works. So I'm going to pick these ones. I'm going to go T, A, G, 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 A, G, C, G, G, C, G, G, A, A, T, C. Okay. So I started from here, then I ended here, okay? I don't want to make it to be 18 nucleotides because I picked 17 nucleotides above. I don't want to make it to be 18 nucleotides here. Make it to be even. So then the first question is done. We done the forward primer. Starts from here, all the way down to the here, okay? We did the, this is forward. Again, it is, absolutely okay if you start from here it doesn't matter okay this is just a mark one as long again must consider this you can pick any one prop from here as long as make sure the sequences for example avoid using this kind of 40 okay it is not a good one because it can cause the primer dimer to occur we don't want that okay make it to be specific and for example, this is a very good one, but you can start from here if you want to. So there's no thing. There's no textbook definition that you have to pick, for example, this spot. No, you can pick anything you want as long as you follow this criteria. For example, it must contain this. Okay, so because if you put it now, it amplifies this gene. If you put it here, if you choose a primer from here, you're not going to amplify this gene um, because you're not contained as... Um, um, start codon, right? And you don't want that. Let's, so the second question asking you circle the first and last nucleotides of the expected PCR product. So for that, it's very easy. So we got is our first primer, is that one A. So I'm going to pick that one BR first. Maybe make it a bit. Okay. So you guys can read it better. Okay. So this is our. Um, first and the last would be this one okay now it's asking you um, 
work out the TM. TM is very important because it's a melting temperature. Why we care about this? Because we want to initially denature the DNA strands, okay? Once we denature the two double, the double strands from one, five to three, one, three to five, because it's DNA is double-stranded, once they're double-stranded, they denature, then we can put in a specific um, polymerase in. Once the specific polymerase become inside, then we have to make it to be annealed. Then we can use a TM to find a good annealing temperature. Annealing temperature is once the two DNA strands come together. Okay. Once they come together, DNA polymers can then amplify and do the do do its um, um replication job and amplify the DNA um, sequence of desired, which is TRA gene in this case. So we done this as well. Now we have to work out the TM temperature. So TM temperature for the first one. The, the rule is 4 times CG, positive 2 times 80. So it means how many nucleotides of 4 we have, CG we have, we have times it by 4. How many times of 80 we have, we have, oh, how many times of 80 we have, we have times it by 2, I'm sorry. Let me see that. So then let's, let's see how it goes. So TM, so CG, how many CG do we have? 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have 11 there. We always have a good, um, good old, um, good old fr friend calculator. Yeah, so we have 4 times 11. Okay. Then we have 4 times 11 here. How many A's we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 A's. Okay. So it gives us 56 Celsius. Okay, that's that's in the first one. The second one, what is the second one would be? Second one is you can do it similarly. I hope you pause it here and do, give it a go, see how you go. Um, so it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's similar to that. So we have six A's and should have to given 11 AGs because if, if we have six 80s, and we have a 70 nucleotide, it means 6 minus 70, which would be 11. For CG, 6 for 80. And this would give us 56 as well. Okay? So it's very good. It's just always the best. It's okay if you get different things. For example, if it's 56, this is 54. But it's always good to have that um, similarity. It is very good. So very briefly, I'm going to recap. I use the CG if I have if I have like for example eleven as is this case we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we have eleven here which would be eleven four times eleven positive two times six because we have six eighty one two three four five six then it would give us this two um times fifty six Celsius so now the best rule is that. You subtract the TM, so annealing temperature, annealing temp, is best denoted as um, TM subtracted by 5 Celsius. So in this case, 56 minus 5 Celsius is 51 Celsius. So for this specific primer, for this specific primer, this is 5 by the way, it is always good. 51 Celsius is a proper and very good efficient um, annealing temperature and we have to use this temperature to get a very good efficient amplification done by our, this PCR. So I hope you guys made this video helpful and beneficial. Leave me any comment, share, subscribe. If you, if you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. So thank you for that.